One of Paris's major tourist attractions has been occupied today by dozens of protesters. The Pantheon was targeted by a group of migrants calling themselves the Black Vests. The demonstrators had been demanding a meeting with the Prime Minister along with residency papers so they can legally stay in France. Police moved in to remove the protesters from the building where many prominent French figures are buried. According to a leaflet from the Black Vests, the group had planned to remain in the Pantheon until every last one had been granted their papers. We're live now to French publisher and journalist Emeric Monville. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good to have you on the programme today. Um, do you think the demands of these protesters are justified? It all hinges on the questions uh, whether people who are working here must be treated as second-class citizen in what we may call a two-tier society. Um, uh, undocumented workers were, were already gathering a month ago in front of a big uh, catering company denouncing um, illegal uh, working conditions. This uh, system must be stopped. Uh, companies need to be better controlled in this country. Um, on the other hand, nobody says that uh, France does not uh, have to control its, its borders. It is, but it, it is unacceptable that France deals so badly with these workers who, who contribute to, to, the wealth, uh, to the wealth of the country. How big is the problem of illegal migration in France? I mean, for, for, for these people to occupy one of the top uh, tourist attractions surely means that things are, are boiling over. Oh well, yes, but uh, the monuments like Pantheons is not only made for, for, for tourist uh, attraction, uh, but the Pantheon is uh, the monument that best uh, symbolizes uh, what uh, embodies the, the Republican values uh, in France, uh, which go back to the enlightenment of the French uh, and the French uh, Revolution. Resistance uh, fighters against fascism are, are buried here and uh, as the artisan of the, the second uh, abolition of slavery. And the, the ultimate uh, Republican value, I think, is the, the equality of all the before the the law. And uh, when the undocumented uh, migrants denounce the, the current conditions of the exploitation as uh, slavery of labor, they are not wrong to come here. They, they put their, their, their finger on the real contradictions. It's not the first time that these um, protesters, the ones calling themselves uh, black vests, have gathered to uh, demand their residency papers. Um, I mean, how far can things go if nobody's listening? Um, what's going to happen next? Mm. Uh, for, for the moment, uh, the government has preferred to the strong way, and especially since the, the yellow vests, uh, we have seen a shift in of the Macronian electorate to, to the right in what, in what we, may, we might call cre creeping uh, fascism or French political opinion. And the, the police uh, announced that 37 arrests uh, had been made, and clashes uh, occurred uh, in the early evening. Uh, but it is important to emphasize the courage and maybe the despair of those people who are demonstrating when they are at risk of being expelled at any time. But, uh, yes, excuse me, do you have any questions? Yeah, I mean, these, the, the Black Vest movement comes on the back of, I think it was about 35 or 39 consecutive weeks of protests by the Yellow Vest. So this is nothing new uh, in Paris. I suppose people are used to it. But is this another blow for the Macron government, the Macron administration? Um, will, will people take this badly? Yes, here we, we discuss a lot of the deep d division of French society between rich uh, Macron voters of large uh, big cities uh, and the, on the other hand the citizens of the so-called peripheral France and we have to add the, the big cities, suburbs, immigrant masses which are a cheap uh, labor force and sometimes illegal for the rich bourgeoisie and the at least symbolic union with the, the symbol of the, the vest, of the, the yellow vest and, um, of the peripheral France France and the black vest of the suburbs, mm. I think it goes in the right direction. The, the denunciation, denunciation of the unjust France that no longer respects the, the rule of law and the, the strategy of the far right party of the national rally, which is to stir divisions between immigrants and French workers, can only, in my opinion, benefit, benefit uh, President Macron. 
you mentioned the what, what you described as creeping fascism in, in, in the electorate there and to some extent that was visible in the last elections and in the European elections when centrist parties lost out on, vote, pe on votes, people voted for uh, more fringe parties on the right for that matter as well. Um, will incidents such as this and also the failure of the government to tackle the immigration issue lead to further increase for votes on the right? Yes, you're, you're right. Of course, I repeat, there cannot be there cannot be no massive regularization without reinforced border control for, for newcomers. And nobody says that France does not have to control its borders. But in order to, to, to regain these elements of sovereignty, the, the main thing is that France cannot remain the European Union. And the problem with this European elections is that it all means to, to, to remain in the European Union. It means we, in order to, to set all these things we we must have a Frexit I think what what is the um, the answer to the migrants that are already in France you mentioned strong border controls obviously that that is one aspect but to, to a lot of people that they may and, say and regularization too eh? border control and regularization of the, the of people who are working here working here Exactly, yes. So you, you view that as a solution, those migrants who are already here, even if they're here illegally, to give them papers to enable them to join the, the regular economy and the regular life? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's a move that the Macron government will make? It's difficult because you have to, 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 to change all the system and Macron was not elected for, 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 for that. But, uh, and you have to change the French uh, uh, foreign policy too, uh, because uh, when, when they created these, these wars in Syria and Libya, we, we, we can see all the, the catastrophe it, it has uh, steered, it has created. Okay, Emmerich Monville, French publisher and journalist, thanks for your time today with us on RT International. Thank you very much.